What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And in this video, I wanted to go over this amazing deck that I've been using during this featured location, the Quantum Tunnel. It has been the most confident I've felt with the deck in a long time, and even after the featured location, I might be using it. And the star here, one of the stars, there's two stars here, is Thanos, and I know a lot of you ask about should you get it from the token shop and all that stuff, so we'll discuss that, we'll go over the deck, we'll do a little gameplay, all that kind of good stuff, but before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris, I also go by Bootman, and if you love Marvel Snap and you're interested in more of the competitive aspect, like ranking up, entering tournaments, all that kind of stuff, this is the channel for you, I promise it'll make you a better player, all right? And we're trying to hit 7,500 subscribers by the end of the month, we're like, 20 away or something so go ahead and hit that subscribe button i promise to provide you with a bunch of awesome content and we do a bunch of cool stuff here like giveaways uh right now we have a contest going on for people building me a shadow king deck by the way quick update i had to take a little break from that i might pick that up back tomorrow we have two more decks to try out okay but we do giveaways um we also have an awesome discord server linked down in the description below but one of the monthly giveaways that we do is we give away three season passes every single month but you got to be subscribed and follow me on twitter at bootman mstz that's linked down in the description below all right so subscribe follow we'll have a great time i promise you all right so let's go over this so if you don't have thanos calm down just calm down for a second all right um one of the reasons uh because i i've been trying to slow down on like the series 5 content and stuff but the two most common cards i get asked about in the token shop are thanos and galactus i discussed this on the re uh my recent appearance on the snap judgments podcast and we all kind of agree like galactus and eh. thanos Possibly. Thanos, my recommendation, the reason why I bought Thanos is because I want a different style of play. I want something that I can get creative with and do different things with. And like the Thanos deck is that, right? Like you could like, like hypothetically toss Thanos into literally any deck and then it just becomes like a Thanos type deck, right? Because Thanos brings in all these stones and you can start doing all sorts of stuff. So there's a bunch of different things that you could do. So if you're interested in just new deck styles and the creative aspect of it, like I think Thanos is a decent pickup if you wanna pin it and save your tokens because I don't see uh, Thanos or Galactus dropping anytime soon, but Galactus is much more inconsistent. It's a little bit more obvious. Thanos, it's a little bit more randomized. I like it because it's almost like the Agent Dino deck that I used where your opponent doesn't really know what's coming, all right? So those of you who know me, you know that I am not a fan of this dog. I was going on a rant about this dog for like a week, right? I even made a video about a deck similar to this, very, very, very close to this, um, but I, I wasn't having the success. A lot of people were like, oh, this is like a new meta deck and da 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 da, right? And here's the thing, like, uh, I can't remember what that deck was exactly. I think it was slightly different than this one. But right now with the Quantum Tunnel, it's awesome. Like, some of you have heard me mention, I've been struggling this season. Like, if I hit Infinite this season, I will be so, so proud of myself. It's a shorter month. This has been one of those challenging seasons. Like, me, a ton of other streamers and content creators, like, top players, are struggling this season unless they're playing like a bunch of bots and stuff and like farmed it like before the zabu nerf and just did it in a couple hours right this season's been tough for a lot of us but this is the most confident i felt like i have had like uh like snapping ptsd right like i'm afraid to snap i've lost cubes to the dumbest things just most random stuff and today i've ranked up like two or three times already with this deck due to the location but I do think it can work without the location because I've won a ton of games without the featured location just because of Lockjaw, okay? So, this is like a typical kind of Lockjaw deck with like Thor and Jane Foster, but with the stones, one of the key components here is Quinjet. I remember I wanted Thanos when he first came out, but I wasn't Series 3 complete and I didn't have Quinjet. And when I realized the value of Quinjet in these decks, I was like, okay, I'm not getting Thanos until I at least have Quinjet. Quinjet makes all of your stones zero cost. So when you have that with Lockjaw, it's phenomenal. So one of the best parts about this is, can I cycle through this? Okay, is the Space Stone, okay? So the Space Stone, next turn, you can move uh, You can move one card at this location and you draw a card, right? In a Lockjaw deck, like this is just phenomenal because you. one of the downsides of a Lockjaw deck, like I was just talking with someone about this, 
is that you're like dedicating yourself to one lane, right? Like a lot of these Lockjaw decks do have vision. So like if it pulls vision, you can move something out. But with that space stone, you can move another card. Like I've had ones where I'm just like, I'll drop a space stone, pull something big like Giganto, move Giganto, right? Then uh, I pull space stone again because these other stones, they draw a card. I'll pull space stone again. I'll drop it in Lockjaw. Then I can move another card and I keep clearing it out, right? Now with the quantum tunnel location, we're having two different locations where we can be cycling stuff in and out, right? And like, on certain on certain uh, games, like if I have like Quinjet and Lockjaw and like even one or two stones in my hand, I snap and it's it's pretty. There's a high probability in winning. Now, a lot of you know that I'm not a fan of first turn snapping. Something I've mentioned too, though, is when when time when you're fighting against time, right? You got to start considering first turn snapping or early snapping, right? This is a shorter month, so to get to infinite, I'm gonna have to play a little bit more aggressive. This is the first deck where I felt confident in it, even though the randomness is there, all right? So we're gonna play some a few games. I'm going to uh, show you my losses because that's what we do with this channel. I'll show you like, hey, here's the things that can go wrong. Here's when we need to retreat and stuff like that. I don't just wanna be like, hey, look how cool this is. All I do is win and just edit it up. No, you're gonna see the losses too. And by the way, some of you might've noticed this. Those of you who aren't following me on Twitter, Follow me on Twitter. Look what I got. I got Ghost. All right, quick fun story, okay, before we jump into the games. So me and like a bunch of other creators who really wanted Ghost did not pop up yesterday, right? Yesterday, Valentine's Day, whatever. I'm like, oh, and I really wanted it at night. My girlfriend, she's, she's amazing. Wonderful, most beautiful, amazing, awesome girlfriend ever, right? And uh, she does not care about Marvel Snap, but she she pretends to have interest just for me because she loves me, you know what I mean? So anyways, it's like getting around to the time where the shop's opening. Now I'm sitting there, I have super scroll in it. I'm like, all right, here's the card I want. I'm like, I need you to sit here with me and will it into existence, all right? We watched it. We watched the timer. We paused the show we were watching and we watched the timer. We started counting down from 10, 9, 8, whatever. Boom, Ghost pops up. That is a fun, cute, adorable story, and I know you enjoyed it, all right? So we got Ghost. Right now, uh, I'm of the belief that Ghost, like right now, like during the Quantum Tunnel event, I'm not gonna use her, but prepare for some Ghost content. Ghost is going to be a gangster with Valkyrie. I've already made some decks. I'm getting some more deck ideas. I've been waiting for Ghost for months. And those of you who have been asking, yes, Ghost is going in Majantris. I'm putting her right here in place of Black Widow because I can't tell you how many games I've lost because I was going into the final turn with priority. Ghost solves this problem and I'm so excited. But anyways, I'm gonna shut up about Ghost. This is a Thanos Lockjaw video. Let's jump into some games. Oh my God, that draw. Oh, this fool is gonna snap. This fool's gonna snap like I don't have a freaking Shang-Chi in my deck yo we're staying in we're staying and i got this dude i can move you wherever i want every single turn vision's gonna be moving oh the internet you might have you might have done messed up right here so one of the things with the thanos deck is that you got to pay attention right you got to pay attention like usually i'll play this game very passively oh boy oh boy remember what i was saying about the space stone check it check check it out oh man I just hope it doesn't pull Shang-Chi. If it pulls Shang-Chi, we might have to retreat. We might have to retreat. Let's say it pulls my Infinite. We're golden. Okay, so this is probably a Hella deck, maybe, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, so we got Thor and Mjolnir. We could cycle that thing in like crazy. Oh my, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you better hope. You better pray to the gods that I do not pull Oh Lord. So look, check this out. Check this out. So I'm going to put you here, right? Nah, I'll move you for now. I'll move you for now. I can move him whenever, right? I'm going to move Jane here for now. Okay. So check this out. Check this. Check this. You know what? We need to, we need to snipe that. Um, We need to snipe that. Uh, whatchamacallit that infinite, so I'm gonna try to cycle in a, um, a Shang-Chi. Oh man, if I blow this fool up, if I blow him up, oh, what you gonna hit? 
Yes! Thanks for clearing the space, baby! This is going bad for you, Mr. The Internet. Give me a Shang-Chi. Give me a Shang-Chi. Do it. Do it. Come on. <laughs> Looks like we took the lead, the internet. Looks like the lead has a been a taken. All right, so. We're gonna hide our power stone over here because look, this is gonna be nuts. That sucks. All right, but we're golden over here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this is looking good. I might, uh, should I save this? Should I save this or should I try to get him buff? Think this guy's worried? Oh, I can cycle some more stuff in here. Oh, I probably should have done leech, huh? This got so excited. Space Stone? Give me Shang-Chi. Just give me Shang-Chi. Oh my god. So check this out. Check this out. I almost want to snap back. Oh, I have to. Shang-Chi is the only card in my deck. Look, so check this. I think the Soul Stone's the last one I gotta play. You guys are watching eight cubes. Let's go. Boom! Peace out, the internet. <laughs> Woo! Things didn't go as planned for you. Yeah, so I was, dude, I've been dropping. I've been dropping. I, I was at low 71 this morning, bouncing between 71 and 70, and I'm I'm going up. I'm going up, baby. Yeah, but those, those of you who are new here and aren't like, what do you mean the, the season's been a struggle? Oh my God, it's a free, it's a free Quinjet. And uh, you're like, oh, what do you mean it's been a struggle? Whatever, like, um, I hit 80. I hit 81 day one of this season. That's how much of a struggle it's been. I'm gonna save my stones just in case uh, Quantum Tunnel comes out. If Quantum Tunnel doesn't come out, we'll start dropping stuff and start pulling some cards. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. It, oh, hey, look, Shang-Chi does exist. Sewer system, I don't know. I'm going to drop. My Jane, my Space Stone, I can move uh, a card from here. Next, the Space Stone is sick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not the best, but we'll live. So, yeah, I'm like, I'm iffy right now. Oh, we got Shang-Chi, though. Yeah, Mjolnir, Shang-Chi. Let's see what the next card is, and then I might snap it. Oh, you're pulling a lot of cards, buddy. So that could be my Giganto, Hulk, or Thanos. So I'm gonna Shang-Chi and then I have space for my Mjolnir and something else, right?
I'm not gonna snap because I have a bad habit of that. Yeah, I think this wins it. He's gonna have to play something right here. Like, he might play one of my high power cards. I think we have enough because if he drops a Thanos there. Yeah, and if he. We have priority. The only thing is if he drops Thanos. Oh! Give me them cubes, son. Give me the cubes. Oh, hey, now you're asking yourself, where's Lockjaw? He's not here. Where's Quantum Tunnel? He's not here either. Well, I don't know if it's a he or a she, right? But, but anyways, that's a dub. That's a, that's a bona fide dub right there. Look at that. Man, this is just the best day of Marvel Snap I've had in just like a week and it feels oh so nice. Oh, so nice. Now you're thinking, wouldn't Dazzler be dope in this deck? Sometimes. Sometimes, right now, there's a lot of Death Wave. There's a lot of Killmongers. So that is why I'm not touching Dazzler. I'm not touching Dazzler for 6,000 either. No thanks. Maybe three, and I'm just sitting on a bunch of extra tokens, but we'll see about that. All right, last game. Last game. Let's see, let's see what we can make happen here. Okay, we're gonna hold on to this just in case there's Quantum Tunnel. Like, I like to just wait at least, at least one turn. At least one, then we start we start making some stuff happen. I've made the mistake with Thanos, and that's why you got this is why you gotta play decks over and over and over again. Like I've made the mistakes where I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna hold on to my stones for like ever, you know? And it's like so this is gonna help with Asgard. So Soul Stone, it takes uh one power away from anything here, you know? So, but I'm still I'm still gonna hold on to one of my stones for this. Didn't pay off. Okay. We got vision, so that doesn't even matter. Lockjaw, hello. Move one of you, we'll put you here. We'll do a little time stone there. Time, so time stone gives us one extra energy, but we might pull something big. And right now we're pretty much just preventing them from drawing two cards. Well, that's extremely annoying. This might be a big fat L. The best play I have here is Vision into... Like, if he snaps, I don't even know what I can do. Yeah, because if he has Professor X, like, we're kind of screwed. You know? Professor X or a Hobgoblin, like, really anything. Anything that goes along with this card right here kind of in trouble. Earlier I had a game where Daily Bugle gave me their Daredevil and dropped it, canceled it out. I am interested to see how um I might have been a big mistake for you. I don't know. Oh wait, I'm winning over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the soul stone, baby. The soul stone screws up people's math. <laughs> Let's go. All right, everybody. That is this Thanos Lockjaw deck. By the way, some of you might have noticed it's called uh, Hogjaw, right? I was actually, I was talking with Jeff Hogan last time. I'm like, yo, what deck are you using for the quantum event? But he also, um, he also got ghosts. So I was asking him and he's like, here's the deck I was going to, I'm going to be running. He actually didn't have Shang-Chi in here. He had um sunspot when i was talking with him but today he's been streaming and using shang chi and i tossed him in there very useful um so that's why it's called hoag job by the way it's hoaglin not hooglin he corrected me on that and i my last name's Boute, so i try to make sure i pronounce people's last names right so it's hoag job uh so fantastic fantastic deck i will say this i ran into it last night but i have not ran into it at all today last night when the location came out people were playing into leech all right, they were filling their deck with uh, Infinite, um, Red Skull, like anything that you would want to get leashed, they had it in there and I would leash, they would snap. And at first I lost cubes because I'm like, 
why are you snapping me? And then it's just like turn six infinite, you know, even though they play the last turn and stuff you don't expect. So be mindful of that, but I haven't run into it all day. We didn't even get a leech game in this. Like if I'm playing against a death wave deck and I'm holding on to leech or leech is leech might get cycled in by a lockjaw or quantum tunnel, boom, I'll, I'll hit them with that, you know? So yeah, like I said, I know a lot of you aren't going to be able to use this deck today. Some of you are going to be able to, if you bought Thanos, but anyways, um, again, I said this before, if you're interested in a new play style, um, a way to make a lot of different decks, like, like, I think just like for me personally, and the style I like to play, like, like, you know, what, what we say is like, if a card will make you happy, if it fits your play style, get it. That's what this card was for me. That's what Thanos was for me. Even though I've been playing around with other decks and stuff, like I'll, I'll play a bunch of games with Thanos, like every single day, because there's so many decks. I, I don't even have enough slots to do all the Thanos decks. There's just so, so many of them. There's some new decks out with Thanos and Valkyrie and you know, Valkyrie's my girl and stuff. So um, yeah, if you are like me, he might be worth the pen. Um, but there are some great series four cards. Like I said, Valkyrie, I'm, I've been loving Bass lately in, Siri, uh, in um, Cerebro three and negative decks and stuff. So there's a lot of really cool cards out here. I know tokens are scarce. You get them a little bit faster if you're series three complete, but these are all just things to take into consideration. All right. But if you got Thanos, roll with this. And um, yeah, like other decks with Lockjaw right now on the event, like they'll be decent, but just one of the main benefits is if you can pull out a Quinjet, you have six extra zero cost things to just cycle in and out. And like I said, the power of the Space Stone, like Space Stone, especially in this deck, just one of the most underrated because with Lockjaw, you're clogging up a lane and with Space Stone, you don't gotta worry about it, especially if you're able to drop it a couple times. So love this deck, been having a blast. Um, I gotta get back to work, but then I'm gonna be grinding tonight see if we can get back up to 80 maybe i'll even hop on stream i don't know no promises but i might hop on stream all right but anyways that's all i got for this video if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're new subscribe ring the notification bell help us get to 7500 subscribers and head down to the description join our awesome discord server follow me on twitter at bootman mstz if you want to be part of our monthly season pass giveaways all right and everybody stay tuned i am going to be making some more videos uh we have two more decks to try out for the uh, Build Me a Shadow King deck giveaway. Shadow King is not gonna do well right now with the event either, so I put a little pause and I've been dropping ranks, so I'm gonna try to rank up to mitigate for me testing out new decks, you know what I mean? All right, so subscribe just so you don't miss that. The Shadow King decks are very creative and interesting. We have two more really, really good ones coming up. All right, so have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.